Uh, Tony, how are you making out? Not bad at all, okay. actually. You got some fish, I see. Yeah, here. What do you got? Look. Let's check it out here. Oh, you got a decent pike. Got a nice pike and a perch and a sunfish. Beautiful. Not bad for a half hour. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey folks, it's Evo here from Thundermus Lure Company, and as you've probably figured out, this is an impromptu Thundermus Fishing Tips uh, episode. As I got the call from Antonio, I was actually at, a, at another meeting here, so I'm not quite dressed for it, but uh, you know what happens. He called, I'm there. <laughs> well, when there's fish, there's fish. Well, I grabbed my little ultralight rod, so today we're going to be looking at, we're out here in Welland. We're fishing the recreational waterway, and uh, Antonio says, come on down and let's try and catch some perch for uh, for dinner, which is supposed to be in about an hour. So, uh, let's I've see. done my part. You did your part. <laughs> Looks like we got something to eat, but hopefully we get a few more fish. And if I get my line untangled here, I'll show you my setup. And I imagine, Antonio, you have a similar setup. Yep. And what, what I'm gonna do today, I've got, I'm running a two hook system. And as you see here, uh, I've got the T-turn, three-way swivel, going to a hook. And if you've never used the T-turns, as you know, they allow you to fish tangle-free. They're a great live bait rig, and in this case, I have uh, two of them hooked up here. So that should be uh, double my chances, and you have two as well? I only have one. You have one, that's yeah. good. I like to have the upper hand on you, Antonio. <laughs> and the other thing I like to point out is, in this impromptu meeting, our fishing trip here, uh, I asked Antonio, do you have any bait? And he says, no, I don't have any minnows, but we're going to use cut bait. And you know, I want you to know, it's a, it's a, it's a page out of the saltwater angler. Saltwaters use cut bait, anglers use cut bait all the time. And uh, there's no reason why you can't use cut bait or cut shrimp uh, for panfish and fresh water. Hey, Antonio? Nope, it works very well. Although you're not getting any bites right now. It's a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> you brought bad luck. But. Okay, I'm gonna get rigged up and let's uh, see if we can get into some fish. Oh, oh good there bite. Go, I think we're on, Antonio. You got one. Oh, uh, I don't know. If I do, it's really small. Now, one of the challenges for the boatless angler here, when you're fishing from shore, there's tons of weeds here. So I gotta keep my rod tip up really high. Well, oh, here we go. This isn't gonna call for any close for dinner. <laughs> oh my. Okay, he's gonna have to go back in. We'll have to get him a little bigger than that. Okay, small perch. But my uh, cut bait is still no worse for wear, so I should be able to get it back out there. And I'm just gonna clean these weeds off because you wanna keep your bait Hey Antonio, you want to keep it clean. Come on too. Double header Antonio. Hey? Eh? Yeah. I can barely see. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go hungry tonight. Good thing you caught that pike. This guy's small. Any it's size? a little bit bigger than the one I caught. What about the one you got on? Any size to it? I don't think so, but I think it's probably about the same size. It's like a sunfish. Wow, we got a little sunfish. Can you imagine that? This little sunfish picking up that cut bait. That's really something. I guess they like cut bait too. It just goes to show you. You caught pike on cut bait, perch and sunfish, all on cut bait. Small though. Very small. But you know, let's take this opportunity to talk a little bit about cut bait, especially with fresh water. Eh, Antonio, do you prefer Chunks of cut bait or more strips? Strips, they're better. Yeah, strips are without a doubt, that was a test question. Strips, <laughs> strips are without a doubt 10 times better to use than chunks. They're more natural, it's more fish-like looking. And it's got more the, action too. Yeah, it's got more action and uh, the fish, it resembles more of a bait fish and they can key on it better yeah. than a chunk of, uh, of cut bait. For sure. So, and that's what we have today. Cut bait, strips, covered in weeds. <laughs> I'm still cleaning my line up here from that last fish trying to get all these weeds off. These fish are deceiving. They get caught in the weeds and you think you have a bigger fish, but I think it's still small. Another small one? I think so. Another sunfish. That's that's actually a nice sized sunfish. Bluegill. That's a nice bluegill. I think we're going to keep that one, Antonio. If we want to eat tonight, 
Yeah, that's a nice size one. Nothing wrong with that. No. Nope. Okay, where's that cut bait, Antonio? I got to get rigged up here. I think I missed, Antonio. Sure? I think so. It's a good bite, mind you. Those dress pants aren't working for you. <laughs> no, sir. Take your bait. No bait. I think we're on, Antonio. Got one? I believe so. It, like you say, it's hard to tell. Oh yeah, he's on there. Nice. Yeah, he was biting away there. I think I got 10 pounds worth of weeds here too, but uh oh, I might have just lost them. No, maybe not. Up over those weeds, Antonio. Oh, there we go. Oh, a nice sunfish, another bluegill. Look at that, a good size one too, Antonio. Nice. Yeah, he's going to fry up nicely. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to get him on the stringer. I'll get you to put him on the stringer. But I would like to add another, another tip when you're using cut bait, folks. This is actually very important because you don't have live bait swimming around out there. So what I was doing, I cast my line out. As it hit the bottom, I'm slowly, just slowly moving it and taking up the slack and slowly moving it. And the fish are honing in on that and they see that movement, they think it's something getting away and they start biting. And that's exactly what happened with that sunfish right there. So uh, it's a very, very effective technique as opposed to just throwing it out there and waiting. Just give it a little move and uh, you'll entice more bites, that's for sure. You know what, Antonio? I've been dragging this through the weeds. Yeah, I do have him on there. Fish. Yeah. <laughs> He's been, he gave me a good bite too. There we go. Nice. Hey, there we go, Antonio. Is he bigger than the one you got? No. Let me see. Get that one over here. Close. Okay, maybe not, but I think we got enough for a fry there, eh, Antonio? He'll cook, won't he? Yeah, he'll keep. Okay. And I got to tell you, if you've never used these T-turn folks, they're absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Even covered in weeds, it still managed to come up <laughs> tangle free. You got to love that. Okay, Antonio, here we go. Here's mine. You got a little perch. I think I might have a pike on here. And if I do, this is going to be very challenging because I got four pound test line on here. What do you think, Antonio? I'll try to land them for you. I have no idea, unless it might even be a bass, because bass will also take uh, a cut bait. But he definitely took it on the move as I was, I was moving it. Yeah, he feels pretty good. I hope he doesn't get hung up in those weeds now. We got no landing net. So Antonio, you're going to have to use your hands here. Oh, oh, there he goes. Ooh. Oh, big boil. What did you get a did you get a look at him on Tony? Oh there he is there. Looks like Oh there he goes. We just lost him. I think it was a bass. Looks like a small mo. I think it was a bass. And he cut you off. He cut me off, so you know what? Let's change that to a pike. <laughs> that was a deal. Well, probably about the same size pike as uh, Antonio had there earlier. He just left a big boil. I didn't get a look at him, but because I'm cut off, I'm going to have to say that was a pike. Well, anyways, folks, maybe uh, one last tip I'd like to say with this cut bait, hey, Antonio, and that is to keep it fresh. Fresh cut bait is always better. Uh, it's better than frozen, and when you're using it, keep it fresh, change it up periodically. And if you're going to use shrimp as a cut bait, uh, stay away from the cooked shrimp. Buy the, uh, the raw shrimp and just cut it into strips. It works really, really well. But I think we got enough for a fish fry here. Too bad I missed that fish, but uh, we've had a good day. Antonio gave me the call. So you know what, no matter where you are, if you get the call, get out there, do some fishing. We've only been out here for less than an hour, and I think we're gonna have a little fish fry, eh, Antonio? Yep, sounds good. So thanks so much for tuning in, folks. And if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe to our channel. We always welcome you subscribers. And thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Thunder Miss Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck, good fishing.